If you had told me a year ago that I would cover NFTs on this channel, I would have loved this hard. <laughs> Today, I would probably mint it as an NFT. <laughs> so let's talk about what this technology is and how it could impact healthcare too. This is Dr. Bertalan Meshko and you are watching The Medical Futurist. When it comes to NFTs, the word seems to be split into pro and anti-NFT camps. The pro camp considers NFTs a new approach to finance and to own digital media, while those against NFTs claim that it's just a crazy trend of purchasing pixel monkeys, while, as with cryptocurrencies in general, it has a devastating effect on the climate. But the truth is, NFTs will impact many areas of life and they will most likely be present in a vast array of transfers of ownership. Whether it's real estate or ticket sales, they will have huge and truly important effects on healthcare too. When people ask each other what an NFT is, they usually get the same answer. It's a non-fungible token. Which is true and it's what the acronym stands for, but it doesn't get a layman any closer to really understand it. NFTs are simply a new way to transfer and prove ownership. It's using the same blockchain technology that has given rise to Bitcoin and various other cryptocurrencies. And now, instead of registering Bitcoin transfers on a blockchain, we started to register all kinds of things like digital art. And the beauty of the blockchain is that it's a secure, transparent and accessible way to keep records of ownership or records of any kind, even medical records. NFTs are simply extending the blockchain technology from cryptocurrencies to all sorts of things. And when you see pixel monkeys sharing virtual hands for millions of dollars, that's just the early dot-com bubble on repeat, when they all knew the internet was going to be huge and we were trying to price it in a very weird and excessive way. We are living the early days of the blockchain with many more news coming from this space for sure, but let's take a look beyond those. We already know that in this day and age, the personal health sensors and apps have an insane amount of information about our health. But what is still mostly the norm is that these sensitive data are governed by the companies providing healthcare services. Hence why Google, Amazon and Apple are making huge efforts to take a shot at providing healthcare services. Big data is the new oil and the profits are huge. For example, the pregnancy tracking app Ovia was found to sell aggregated data of its users, while 23andMe intends to develop drugs based on the genetic database it amassed from the millions of customers who used its genetic testing kits. Yet, these profits are totally oblivious to patients. Because we simply don't think that the medical data coming from our Apple Watch or the ones we share to know about our ancestry have any value. But it does! And with the blockchain, you will be able to own and profit off of it. Say you decided to order a direct-to-consumer DNA testing kit to have a nutrition plan tailored to your genetic makeup by a private company. You also know that the company might sell your genetic data to third parties for research purposes but you settle for the service anyway because it's the most accurate way to get a personalized diet at a relatively affordable price. However, by selling your genetic data and that of others, the company could be making millions that they will never share with you. Moreover, as such sensitive data get passed along the transaction chain, the risk for mishandling your private information increases. Now. If your genetic data were minted as an NFT, the information would come with an inherent feature to be tracked. You would be able to see where it ends up and hold those who used it without your permission accountable since you are the sole owner of the data as certified by the NFT authentication. Even more, the NFT can carry a royalty fee so the owner can earn money whenever further transactions occur with the data. In the examples of Ovia and 23andMe, patients whose data are being used by the companies aren't earning a cent. But with an NFT approach, companies offering digital health services could encourage patients to participate in studies 
by contributing with their data and earning from it. It might start with pixel monkeys, but NFTs are already changing the video game world with ushering into a new era of play to earn, whereby playing a game, players have a chance to not just go for accomplishments and 100% completion, but to earn any form of in-game NFT assets that carry a true monetary value. The same way in healthcare. It's not hard to imagine a new era of uh, track to earn, whereby tracking your health in a multitude of ways and sharing them as NFTs, you could make a profit. Recently, artist Rachel Rossen has already minted her genome on the blockchain as sort of a performance art, but it does show the potential I'm talking about. And while much about NFT in healthcare is still speculative at this point, there are some startups that are exploring this potential. One such company is Amedis that has a medical NFT marketplace where patients can participate in transactions involving their health data. The health monitoring app Go, developed by Engine and Health Hero, can collect individual activity and wellness data from popular apps like Apple Health, Google Fit and Fitbit. In doing so, it creates well-being NFTs or WNFTs that can be traded on the open market. However, there are several potential roadblocks to adopting the technology for the masses, especially in healthcare. As it stands, blockchain technology runs quite inefficiently with large amounts of energy required for even minor transactions. This is further tied to significant greenhouse gas emissions, which add to climate change. There are certainly a number of solutions coming down the line as this space matures, but NFTs might not be outright commercially viable in the near future. And the big issue is whether companies with digital health services even want to adopt the technology. As you can imagine, they might not be particularly enticed by the idea of sharing their profits with patients from whom they have traditionally been profiting off and not the other way around. But the technology, and more importantly, the idea of decentralizing some aspects of healthcare mark an important shift and I'm really excited about it. If you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe below. Also, please don't forget to tap the notification bell so you will get notified about all new videos. Thank you so much in the name of the whole The Medical Futurist team.